Hello, this is Optimal Nate. Today I'm going to show you guys the new track fleet from Hot Wheels showing Optimus Prime. <clears throat> this one here I actually got on BigBadToyStore.com. Um, I have tried looking for these at Walmart. Uh, it is hard to find, at least where I'm at. What? If you have any luck, you might find one at yours. I believe it's retailing for $9.95 right now. You don't say. But so far, from what I've seen, Hot Wheels has done one of the best interpretations of Optimus Prime with this trailer on a small scale. Uh, don't quote me on this. I believe it's 164 scale. But we'll start from the front here. You can see the cab through the plastic there. Pretty solid Peter built. You have the smokestacks with the Autobot logo in there. It's even got the little uh, bolt studs on there from when they would have put together. The colors are rich all throughout this toy. Even the blue. You got the trailer there. The tires. You flip it down on the bottom. I believe the only actual metal in this is in the cab itself on the shell, which is the red, the blue on the bottom. And then I want to say this is, this is metal too. The black part that's underneath the trailer. So I would say about 35-40% of that is actually die cast metal. I could be wrong, but very well done. Um, as far as I know, this one does not transform. Oh. Uh, if you do want, actually, if you want to get the one that transforms, there was the collaboration they did in the beginning of summer with uh, Hot Wheels and Hasbro together where they did the special uh, edition of Optimus Prime, but it was just the cab. Uh, if you want to look in my older videos, I do have one that I did of that one. Um, that, that one retail for about $80. <clears throat> so it was very expensive. A lot of people didn't get it. It was sold out very quickly. That one would have been better for the $80 price tag if they had done an actual trailer like this. Mm -hmm. That would have definitely uh, played proper fanfare. So this set here, Track Fleet, and on the back, there's some more artwork. These are the other ones that are currently out for the same series. Most of these other ones are common ones that you can still find. Uh, I know I've seen, I believe, the semi Roger Dodger, uh, Fuel and Fire, the Rad Rider Rig. So there's about three of these I found so far. <clears throat> but I wouldn't be surprised if the scalpers have bought these out at Walmart, which is probably why it's hard to find, being it's a higher end item. And a fan favorite. Here's another view from the top. Look at the ridges on that. It looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, beautiful work. Solid looking. Um, definitely you can get this. I believe it's still available on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I don't have any links. But I'm sure you can look on there. If, at worst... Uh, eBay, you can probably get this. You might pay a few bucks more, of course. But happy toy hunting, everybody who's looking for this. It is definitely a top of my 10 for this year for any toys that have come out. As far as Hot Wheels, I am deeply appreciative of this work. Drop a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. If this is something you plan to pick up. Stay humble and true, my dudes. Thanks for watching. Take care.